All right, here we have the MIDAC circuit implementation. Everything is the same as in the original, except I'm using 2.2K instead of 4.7K for R1. This would be the connection for the voltage controlled vo voltage source. Here's the sense voltage, which is multiplied by the gain mu. Over here we have the 5 volt source that is connected to ground. And between terminals A and B, I have the connections for the either the voltmeter or the ammeter. You, you don't need to actually change the probe positions at all between A and B. You simply need to change those back at the MIDAC unit. So again, here's the voltage or voltage controlled voltage source. Here's the sense voltage. Here's the 5 volt source. And I have the DMM probes permanently set up to be connected between terminals A and B. For the purpose of this measurement uh, confirmation, I'm going to use a gain of 0.8. So you could apply that on your own circuit. Let's go ahead and start up the digital multimeter. And I'll begin by measuring the Thevenin voltage. So we set this up as a voltage source. I think I'll pick this for the range. Let's go ahead and run that. So at this point, we're measuring the open circuit voltage, which is the same thing as our Thevenin voltage, minus 2.41 volts for this demonstration circuit. All right, I've disconnected the DMM probes back at MIDAC. I've then switched those to the orientation for the ammeter. And at this point, we are effectively applying a short circuit between A and B. And the short circuit current for this demonstration circuit is minus 0.74 milliamps. 